Hey guys, welcome back. Let me ask you this. Have you ever hoped for something? Have you ever really desired that you would get something or something would happen or someone would talk to you or what have you? Hope is a really, really powerful tool in our society and it's really strong because people use it as a motivator. Hope can be very motivating. I've worked with thousands of people at this point in the mental health field, the majority of whom were suicidal at one point or another. And one thing that got them into treatment was hope. They really hoped that something would change. They hoped that life could get better. They hoped that it's just something would be different. Someone would talk to them differently. Some kind of interaction or some kind of activity would get better, would improve. And so it's a super powerful and healthy tool, but unfortunately, hope can also be a trap. It can also be kind of unhealthy, and I'll tell you why. When you hope for something, for instance, when you're hoping for something, like for, for a certain kind of present for Christmas, or like I was talking about with my clients, like that hoping that some dramatic life thing would be different, you are externalizing that thing. You are displacing responsibility from yourself onto the outside world in hopes that the outside world would somehow provide you with that thing that you want. Provide you with that change or that person or that conversation or just the improvement that you're desiring. And what that does unfortunately is that it takes your involvement away from it. You're no longer participating in the actualization of whatever you want, making it real, right? And unfortunately, that also means that there's a lack of confidence. It kind of implies a lack of confidence that if you hope for something, it means you're hoping that the outside world might provide it for you, right? But that also kind of implies that you think that maybe you're not confident enough to get whatever that thing is or to make whatever that thing is happen yourself. So that's why a lot of people in the mental health world hold on to hope because they don't have the confidence themselves to make that change happen, which is why they go to treatment, which is why they go to therapy or they hire a coach or what have you. But my point is, is if we hold on too hard to hope, we're not really going to be getting the fulfillment that we want even if certain things do come our way that satisfy that desire, satisfy that wish, okay? Now, the distinction I wanna make today is between hope and the word faith, okay? So faith is most often heard in religious circles. A lot of times it's, it's synonymous with people's religious belief that they have faith in a certain God or a certain type of divine. But, and even though that's the common vernacular, let's hold on that for a second, because what really is faith? Faith is a belief system, sure, but in a belief system, there's also this devotion to it, and there's a commitment to it, especially in religion, and in that commitment, there is trust. So, there is trust in whoever you believe in, as your God. There is trust that if you devote yourself to that belief system and that faith, then whatever you are hoping for, previously hoping for, whatever you have faith in or whatever you're asking for will, will occur. You will, that desire will be satisfied. But to have that confidence to lead, that leads to a devotion, there has to be that trust trusting not only in the thing that you are believing in, but you have to trust in yourself as well. So this is the big difference between hope and faith. There is a very active, confident participation and responsibility on your part when you, are, when you have faith that something will occur or you have faith that something will change. 
there's so much more of an energetic thing you say, you know what, I have faith that I can change this part of my life. I have faith that I can go talk to my spouse. I have faith that I can find a fulfilling career, what have you. There's so much more commitment and conviction in that because there's a trust that you're somehow going to participate in the creation of whatever your outcome is. Okay. So like I said, hope is not a bad thing. Hope keeps so many people motivated. And it's okay to always have an underlying foundation of hope, of like, oh, I hope this will be different. I hope something will be better. But faith is that next step. Faith is when things really get done. And faith is where fulfillment really comes from. And I'm not preaching religious faith, I'm just saying faith in general. Because any kind of faith is having trust in your ability and confidence then in your participation in creating whatever outcome you want to create or you are hoping for. So, two questions, as usual, for your homework this week. Question number one, what are things either in the past or currently that you are hoping, that you hope for, that you have hoped for in the past? And did they come true? Did that, like once you just kind of like put it out into the universe, hoping that the universe would just kind of give it back to you, were they ever satisfied? And was it fulfilling? So what are some things that you've hoped for in the past? And then on the faith, th faith side of things, question number two is for you to develop self-trust or more self-trust because you probably have a lot of it and you just don't know it. I want to know what skills and talents do you already have and that you may exercise on a daily basis that could actually already help you achieve whatever it is that you might be hoping for whether it's a change in your career or an improvement in your relationship or just to get a certain project done today that you've been procrastinating on what skills do you have already that you can implement and feel more confident with to actually create that outcome for yourself so think about those two things Please go ahead and fill in your answers in the comments below or just shoot me a direct message if you'd like and I will talk to you very soon.